Hey, what's going on? In this video, I'm showing you some underrated and lesser known features in Apple Intelligence. So if you missed our main video on Apple Intelligence, I'll have it linked below where we showed all of the main important features. But in this video, I wanna show you some of the lesser known things, but these are still things that you're gonna use every single day and will come in very handy. The first thing is called Smart Reply. And you're gonna find Smart Reply inside of Messages and email. However, I think you're going to find it most useful inside of mail. So I sent myself an email and if I go ahead and click on reply, it's going to analyze the email. And because I gave myself two choices in the email, you can see it's going to suggest one of those two choices. However, it doesn't stop there because as you can see at the end of both options, it gives me three dots symbolizing that it's going to write even more than what you see right there. So if I click on one of these options, you can see it's gonna write the entire email for me, including a greeting and it also says thanks for reaching out. So this is a much faster way to write your emails using AI and I think this is gonna come in very handy for a lot of people. And the next feature is for phone calls. So if I go into phone, I'm gonna go ahead and call Apple support. There actually is a new option to record phone calls. So you can see here at the top left, if you click on this button, it's gonna start recording this call. It says this call will be recorded. And now this call is going to be recorded and saved into my notes app. You can see here, I have the option to take notes on this call as it's live. And this is really cool because it's gonna sync up the timing with my notes with the phone call, which is a really cool feature. And it also is going to do its best to transcribe the phone call using AI. So this feature has not been on the iPhone ever. So with iOS 18.1 and Apple intelligence, we finally have the option to record our phone calls. Next up is an all new focus mode built into the iPhone called reduce interruptions. So if you go into control center and then click on your focus modes, you can see that we have a new AI enabled focus mode, which says limit interruptions based on important notifications. So the iPhone is gonna do the best job it can to try to decide what is an important notification. Now, when you have this turned on, it is going to highlight your notifications with a outline that sort of looks like the new Siri uh, UI. If I go into photos, I took a screenshot here. So I just had my girlfriend send me a, a fake text message saying the house is on fire. And as you can see, it says maybe important. I'd say the house burning down definitely is important. Uh, as you can see, it also had a outline and a glow around the notification. So even though I had my reduce interruptions turned on because the iPhone knew this was important, it still pushed the notification to my iPhone. So overall, I would say that this new reduce interruptions focus mode is probably my favorite. And this is what I'll be using every day on my iPhone. Cause when you're working, you don't want those annoying Snapchat notifications and those junk notifications from all of your games, but you might want a notification if someone is trying to reach you urgently. And also when you're in this focus mode, you get a really cool new AI icon uh, right on the bottom of the lock screen like that. And another really cool feature in Apple intelligence that I want to show you is called summaries. So we are able to summarize pretty much anything on our iPhone that has text. However, my favorite place where you can do this is inside of mail. You can summarize any email and you can get a brief overview of what the email says in about two seconds. So here I just have an email from Telus saying that my bill is ready. And at the very top, you can see we have an all new summarize button. When you click on this, it's gonna analyze the email in about two seconds. And as you can see, it gives you an overview of everything that's in the email. This works with emails that are just text-based. It also works in emails like this where you can see it has a lot of graphics inside of it. So this is gonna make reading your emails a lot better. And also with the smart replies I showed you earlier, reading and sending emails is going to be a lot better in iOS 18.1 with Apple intelligence. And as I said earlier, this works in more apps than just mail. So I'm gonna open up Safari and give you another example. What's really cool is as you can see here, I'm on the New York Times and they want me to sign up or pay or whatever they want me to do to read this article. But with AI and iOS 18.1, we're actually able to bypass this. So if we click on the reader button and then click on show reader, First of all, we can bypass all of those paywalls and we can just read it, but we also have a summarize button at the top. So if I click on summarize, it's actually gonna summarize that article and I can read it really quickly up here. So this is a much better way to read articles in Safari and uh, you can also bypass any ads or paywalls that you have as well. One more feature I wanna show you with Apple Intelligence is for the Photos application. This is the all new create a memory feature. 
So inside of photos, if you scroll down, you're gonna see we have a new option that says create a memory movie. And all you have to do is simply describe a memory. So I'm gonna say me and Tegan outside in sunglasses. And I'll click on send. And as you can see here, it's gonna do a, a bunch of collecting of these photos and this animation does look pretty cool. I might fast forward this part of the video because it does take quite a bit to do this. So, and then as you can see, it has analyzed all of my photos and it's now playing a song and it's showing my photos and videos that include me and Tegan outside wearing sunglasses, which is a, a pretty cool new AI feature on the iPhone. I think a lot of people are gonna love creating these memories uh, with a simple description on their iPhone. And the final feature I wanna show you in this video with iOS 18.1 and Apple Intelligence is Type to Siri. Now, if you watch my previous video on Apple Intelligence, you know that the feature just wasn't working on my iPhone for whatever reason. But after a couple reboots, it looks like the feature is now working. So all you have to do is double tap the very bottom of your iPhone and you can see we now have Ask Siri. And you can type any query in here that you would have spoken to Siri. So I can just say weather and then click on send and that's gonna know what I mean just by that one word and it gives me the weather right here. You can also do much more advanced queries as well and I think this is a much better option uh, for Siri if you are in an environment where you can't talk. You can simply type to Siri and you can still get an answer using AI if you're not able to speak at that time. So that is everything I want to show you in this video. So whether it is a smart reply or summarizing an email or having reduced interruptions turned on with smart notifications or even recording phone calls, Apple Intelligence is able to do so much right now on the iPhone and we are only in the first beta right now. So it's only gonna get better. Let me know your thoughts on Apple Intelligence in its current state right now in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like as it does help us out quite a bit. With all that said, my name is Michael. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you next time.